What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here. Today we have our last game in the beginner class, taking on ourselves, taking on Yuki, and that will unlock Umpire Suzuki as well as allowing us to head into the next class, which we're really looking forward to. Has been quite easy so far in the, oh I guess in the beginner class, so guessing next round it is going to be a hell of a lot harder, but we do have to get past ourselves first to unlock Umpire Suzuki, and then we will see what this next class is. And we're playing today at the Aloha Beach Tennis Court, the clay court, um, which I think is where we played our very first game as well. So hopefully uh, we can finally get ourselves into a good bit of form. Remember, we were a little bit shaky in episodes one and two. Episode three, we came back very strong. I think we won that one 4-1. So looking for four love here, that would be the ideal preparation if we could manage to uh, to go and get that. But uh, very hard, as I said, playing against an all-round player like Yuki, playing against a basically copycat of ourselves. Um, so we'll be looking to go and try and, uh, as I said, just finish it off as quick as we can. And we've started off perfectly here, 40 love, in the first game and we are now serving for the match so we'll definitely try and keep that up uh, get him moving around as well and basically as soon as you come to that net Yuki you are just getting taken away with ease one love already we'll swap ends and we will swap servers as well so a great start and we just need to make sure it probably more is our return game uh, that is a bit of a struggle because sometimes I do get a little bit trigger happy when it comes to tapping on the X button uh, to play my shot. So we just need to work on, I guess, our timing. That is a perfect shot. That is a return. I think they call it a return ace in this one. There we go. Return ace on the line. We will definitely take that. What a shot. The timing was definitely there. And uh, a little bit of a quicker one there from Yuki. Just trying to keep us on our toes and keep us fooled. Um, but it won't work for us for very long, mate, because if you're going to serve up those little lobbies, you are going to go and get taken to quite easily. So love 30 now here in the second game. And we're moving along, as I said, very, very nicely. Oh, God. I was going to say he botched it. He absolutely botched it. It was there to be taken to. And we've gone and just put it away. Love 40. This is for a service break. And that always does seem to happen. I always seem to get that timing uh, just wrong on that forehand return down the line when serving from that side. I just seem to push it uh, just a little bit too much. That there is a shocking piece of timing. But uh, that there is a great shot. You can't ask for too much more than that. Absolutely bang on the tram lines. And as we can see, the game's gone through the receiver. We're up to love. And if things keep up this way, we could be in for a very short video this time around. Not that I'm complaining about that. That's what I like to do. I like to keep these videos nice, short, and sharp, and um, that is what we've done so far. It'll be very interesting to see uh, what does happen as we head into the next class. I almost pressed square there. That is a, uh, it's something that I do all the time uh, on this game, and it is pressed square. Square relates to nothing. It basically doesn't do anything, and that's why I did get very frustrated um, in my first couple of videos when I was going and tapping square. I was going to say that's a very good shot, but a great return to get there. And to put the point away as well, we are playing some outstanding quick tennis here today. We will definitely, as I said, uh, try and keep this going and move it, as I said, towards uh, a three-love victory. Nice little drop shot there. And I don't think you're going to get that one, Yuki. You've only taken the one point off me so far. Three-love, game to the server, change sides, and this is actually for the match. So it's funny that it has been this short. Normally we have been, uh, you know, we've lost the game by here or lost two games by here, but currently up three to love. So hopefully we can uh, keep that going for this game here. If you're just going to put those little dibbly dobbly, um, I was going to say smashes, those little dibbly dobbly lobs is a better word, then we are going to go and put it away uh, with relative ease. And that is what we've done so far to date. We have just been putting it away uh, really just moving them, I guess, from side to side. And that has really helped us big time. Um, oh, that's not out, umpire. Review. I don't know. What do they do? I think it's just the, the hand up in tennis for the review. They don't do the big T like they do in cricket. Um, whew, I was going to say, I thought I may have pushed that one slightly a bit long. But it is quite funny. The two games that have been won by opponent Yuki um, have been on basically unforced errors from us. So it's not as though he's been playing outstandingly good tennis. Uh, you know, he has just basically uh, capitalized on those errors when they have been there. 40, uh, sorry, 15-40. I was going to say 40-15, but 15-40 because we are receiving. And this here is for the match. Goes for the little underarm serve. Very, very cheeky. And uh, we don't get any timing on that one whatsoever. But it doesn't matter. Well, in fact, it does matter because he is going to go and play it away. Really should have played uh, the lob shot there when he did come up to the net. But 
just need to be careful. Those little lovely, little lovely serves that we're not really getting the timing of. Don't come to the net. Don't come to the net, Yuki. You are going to get taken to. So we win that one. I believe that is one of the first games we have actually won for the love. Actually, no, we have won one for the love before. Um, but this here was probably our best game to date so far. One set to love, four games to love. Um, and as we can see, just the three points were won um, by opponent Yuki. Two of them on unforced errors from us. So we will definitely take that. And as you can see, the match rating, 84 to 16, which is absolutely brilliant. So we get that. Uh, we move up to the amateur class. So we're at the beginner class, move into the amateur class. It will be interesting to see uh, what we have to do going forward to there. We have unlocked Suzuki as well as an umpire. So he is now ours to use. So that is very exciting as well. So we're going to save. We'll quickly have a look to see what we are doing in the amateur class next time around. Here we go. Welcome to the amateur class. In this class, the opponents will try and force you left or right. To get the better of them, you need to take advantage of the court size. Try mixing the shots up and land closer to the net or deeper in the court. So as we can see, we still need four wins to go and get up there. We can shoot back down um, and play some doubles, actually. So that is quite cool, something that potentially we may come back to at a later date. But we do have four wins in there. Um, we need four wins to get up to the next class after this. We've got the retro American costume and the surfer costume. It looks as though we do have two new players as well that we will be seeing over the coming weeks. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you aren't new, please do subscribe. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter links that can be found down below in the description. Uh, hope you had a good week so far. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. We've got some more Don Bradman batting career coming your guys' way. Make sure you do not miss that.